Well, welcome back to this Thursday edition of News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Nicole Burley and Super Bowl 56, a little more than a month away, and it is scheduled to be in Los Angeles at the brand new SoFi Stadium. But COVID has some people worried California just might not play host after all. There's talk the game could be moved to Texas. And correspondent Marky Martin is live for us in Dallas. So, Marky, you are very near the stadium where the big game could ultimately <laughs> be played. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking Nicole AT&T Stadium here in Arlington, home of the Dallas Cowboys, of course. And and just to be clear, you know, the NFL always has these kinds of contingency plans in its back pocket for severe weather, unforeseen issues, a global pandemic. And, you know, this week, uh, the Grammys that were supposed to be held in California, in Los Angeles at the end of the month, uh, it was postponed indefinitely after organizers cited health and safety concerns. So now a lot of people are talking football and what the NFL's backup plan might be. In my experience, we had about three years to plan for the Super Bowl. The last time the Super Bowl was held in North Texas, Tara Green was the chief operating officer of the host committee. She knows what it takes to put on that big game and says moving it now would be difficult but doable. It would be a challenge, no doubt. It would be a Herculean lift, but it would be possible, I think, because of the infrastructure we have, the world-class airport, the number of hotels. While a Super Bowl has never been moved at the last minute, there is precedent for this. In 2020, every game of the World Series was played right here at Globe Life Stadium in Arlington due to COVID. And last year's Rose Bowl was moved to AT&T Stadium at the 11th hour after California health officials refused to allow fans to attend the game. The Rose Bowl was moved in a matter of weeks. The Cotton Bowl staff, AT&T Stadium did an amazing job, you know, making the stadium ready, turning that around. But that was a lot of work on many different fronts. So could it be possible? I would say anything is possible. Would it look very differently? I'd be willing to bet it would. One thing is for sure, even during a pandemic, AT&T can handle large crowds. Just last week, the Cotton Bowl between Alabama and Cincinnati was played here with 76,000 fans up in the stands. A few of them wearing masks, but the overwhelming majority not. An NFL spokesman confirming they have contacted other locations to be on standby, but stressing the league is moving forward with L.A., saying in a statement, to the Associated Press, quote, as part of our standard contingency planning process that we conduct for all regular and postseason games, we have contacted several clubs to inquire about stadium availability in the event we cannot play the Super Bowl as scheduled. So really the NFL just doing its due diligence just in case a backup plan is needed. But Nicole, you know, if they are going to pivot to another club or, or pivot here to AT&T, that call has to be made pretty soon, uh, you know, to get those logistics underway for, I don't know, the biggest <laughs> football game of the year. Um, so it doesn't look like it's headed that direction, but not impossible. I got to say, Mark, I always get jealous when I see those domed stadiums, though. So we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> They don't have that here in Chicago. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks, Marky. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.